back everybody. Today I have a very interesting tip for you. I'm gonna show you a fire trick that nobody knows about. This could be a fire trick that if you're in a situation, you don't have anything flammable, you will know this in the back of your head that you do have something flammable. If this is your first time with us today and you like super cool tricks, be sure to start this video off with a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, let's get to it. Who here has heard of a material called celluloid? Before I give you an actual demonstration, let's show you what the word celluloid means by definition. Celluloid, a tough flammable thermoplastic composed of essentially cellulose nitrate. Now this celluloid also makes a gamut of items these days from dolls, picture frames, charms, hats, pins, cheap jewelry, many kitchen items, hair accessories, just to name a few. Okay, so now that you know it's called celluloid, you can do a little bit of research, find out all the things that are in your house that are made of that and know that they're highly flammable. But for our demonstration, let's find a couple small, easy to grab, lightweight things that most everybody has laying around and could easily be hooked on or put into your bug out bag or survival kit. There we go. Thought of a really good one that most every household has. Hey! Okay, so that's just a couple little things that I know that most households have that are super lightweight. Almost everybody knows where there's a guitar pick laying around. And if not, they're super cheap and super small and lightweight to grab a couple to throw in a bag. Almost every household has these. These are super easy to clip onto a backpack not hard to find hair clips. And now for the demonstration. Okay, so for starters, I found a really good spot to do a little fire experiment, a barbecue. A lot of people have a barbecue, pretty good place for a fire demonstration. Here is the celluloid hair clip. Highly flammable celluloid hair clip. So you can see is if you had one of these and you had some kindling and stuff, you could definitely get a fire started pretty darn quick. Okay, so we'll put that one out real and quick. Now for the guitar pick. Look at that sucker. So the thinner these things are, the faster they'll burn. But that is a fire starter and a half. So now as you saw that guitar pick, it went up in flames fast because it was thin and it gave you about a 10 to 15 second very strong flame. It had some kindling and some fire starter material ready to go. It would get that thing going very fast. Also, the great thing about a small guitar pick is it's thin. You can carve little shavings off and start it with a flint striker. Shave off very small little shavings off of the guitar pick or the hair clip. Strike it with a flint striker. You can also start a fire that way. And there you go, a fire starter that no one knows about. It's another smart tip to keep in the back of your mind knowing that you have celluloid products all over your household and they can be a fire starter. If you guys like tips like this, I will leave links to other videos at the end of this video. Be sure to check them out.